How's it going everybody? Today we're going to talk about charging a 36 volt lithium iron phosphate battery and what I'm using is this Shiraziki battery charger. This is a 43.8 volt charger so it's going to be right up there at the limit for what you want to charge your lithium battery at and it's a 12 amp charger. So if I were to completely kill this 55 amp hour battery which is hard to do, it would take about four and a half to five hours to completely charge it. So you're able to turn your boat around pretty quickly if you needed to. This is a die cast body on this thing. So it's super robust. It's got waterproof connections all throughout. It does have an external cooling fan on it to help manage the temperature, right? These things are gonna get pretty hot. We're converting AC power to DC power and that does create quite a bit of heat. So it's got a cooling fan on it. It does have this handle. So you could carry it to your boat if you needed to but it also unscrews. So if you need a little bit extra space in your boat, you can certainly do that. Um, on the charger itself, it does have a uh, red, yellow, green indicator to give you a, an idea of what the status is doing, if it's just on standby, if it's actively charging, or if it's also fully charging. On the charger end, it does have two ring terminals that come already pre-assembled, and these are for M8 fasteners. So these fit basically all your lithium batteries that you're gonna find are all M8s. So this is gonna bolt right onto that. Um, it also has this waterproof connection, so if you wanted to keep those ring terminals on there, but take the charger away from it, you can unhook it there, keep this kind of pigtail hooked up to the battery, and then walk away from it. So that's pretty cool, too. Um, obviously, on the other end, you have a grounded 110-volt plug-in, and since your boat is probably already set up with some sort of you know, charger for the starting battery or maybe an electronics battery, what I do is I just use a, a Y connection on my uh, plug-in for my boat. So I have one plug-in for an extension cord, split it off, and run the 110 volt as well. Um, all things said, I've had absolutely no issues with a charger. It charges fast. Cooling fan works fantastic. Um, this is certainly a good way to go if you're looking to charge your 36 volt battery. I'll have some links in the description if you're interested in checking it out. Also, make sure you check this next video out. Like and subscribe to the channel, and we'll see you next time.